Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about how to replace a bumper on a Freightliner Cascadia going from a 2012 all the way up to a 2018, right? There's gonna be two different variances, but this is the one I'm gonna show you on this particular one where these have the receptacles that you guys just push right into them, right? Before I get started, need your support. Subscribe to the channel so I can get some more content and have you guys save some money. Also, at the end of this video, guys, don't forget to pound that like button. All right, so let's jump right into replacing the bumper on your Freightliner Cascadia. We're gonna need some tools. So, unfortunately, if you got a used truck, I would like to say the bolts are always gonna be the same. They may not. I did cheat a little and went ahead, but you need two sockets for this particular drop. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter and a 16 millimeter. Now, if it hasn't been touched, it should be a 16 millimeter, all right? Also, I got my trusty uh, electric ratchet. You should be able to use it on both sides of the bumper. Sometimes you can't, and you're gonna need the ratchet, right? 3 8 ratchet, guys, don't forget that. And the only reason why I say that is it depends on where your location of the air dryer is on the driver or the passenger side. So you may need the ratchet to get to the lower two bolts of where the receptacle is. So what we're gonna do right now is, let's jump right into this. I'm gonna show you the location, where the bolts are at, and how we're gonna remove it. Let's dive into this, guys. All right, guys, so we're on the back side of the bumper area, right? And you can see the, even the bolt heads are a little different, right? One's smaller, one's bigger. And you can see there's quite a bit of room. Now, if you have a fog light, just remove the light, right, from the receptacle. So this particular customer had it tied off to the side, and as you can see, this bumper doesn't have the receptacle for the fog lights. But if you have one, twist and pull, and the light will come right out and just as you can see, just put the harness off to the side. So the bolts that we're gonna remove, there's two here, and then two on the receptacle, right? One, two through the bracket, and that's what we're gonna do on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we're gonna do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I have plenty of room. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ratchet, just so we can do it as quickly as possible. And guys, remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And look at this, the truck comes with its own tray. I love it. And this is where we gotta switch the socket over. Thank you for whoever installed the bumper. Just like that. Just like that. I love when the truck is built in with a tray. And what you can do is just wiggle a little. You can see it's loose. Don't do anything yet until we get the right side, which is also the passenger side, the bolts out before we remove the bumper. So let's go to the passenger side. And guys, grab your ratchet, and you'll see why here in a second. So on the passenger side, you'll notice that we have an air dryer right here blocking the receptacle area where your bumper is. So this is where the ratchet will come handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loosening these bad boys up. Uh, you can see I could probably already saw I cheated a little. So you can see no room, but once it's loose, remove your ratchet out of the way and you should be able to get it out with your fingers, right? And then the fun part is we're gonna move to the other socket because it's a different size on the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put my ratchet down right in here. Just break that bad boy loose. Once it's loose, use my fingers to get it out. And as you can see, I take the bolt, put it in its lovely tray. And as I cheated, but you can use your tools or stay with your ratchet to remove the remaining bolts. So now that you have all the bolts out of the bumper, wiggle loose here. What I would recommend is close the hood and then pull the bumper out. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood just like so. And then I'm gonna just grab the bumper and I'm gonna just slide it off. All right guys, that's that easy. Pull the bumper off. So if you guys, you know, hit a deer, damage the bumper, you can order the bumper online, get it shipped to your house and spend a day with the kids to teach them how to remove a bumper. All right guys, so now that I've showed you that, how easy it is to remove the bumper, 
you just do everything back in reverse. So the good news is that you still don't need anybody's help to install a bumper. All you gotta do is pick the bumper up, put it in the receptacles, and as you can see, you have these sticking out here. They should slide right in here into a receptacle. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift, or if you have kids at home, they can help you. Just get them in there, and then slide it on. Just like that. And then go ahead and reopen the hood. And it doesn't matter what side you start on, but let's do the passenger side because it's a little annoying because of the hair dryer. The only difference is, as you can see, this bumper had two different kind of bolts. I'm gonna put them both together so I can actually just use the sockets. And I'm not doing them up and down, up and down. But this is what they usually come in. This is your proper bolt, right? Not these, someone used these because they probably needed them. But this is a 16 millimeter. This is what usually comes with the truck. And start it with your fingers, promise you. Cause if you don't do it and you just force it on there with your tool, you may end up cross threading. And then if you need to wiggle the bumper to make sure, there you go, there you go. Now it's nice and caught. And as you guys can see, the easiest one, I'm gonna use my electric tool on the right side. And I'm gonna say it again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. I'm gonna just snug them. I'm not gonna tighten them up until I have all my bolts in. And then this is where I gotta switch over to my ratchet. You guys can make a game with it with the kids too, because I do it with my kids all the time. Who can get their sight on faster? It's kind of funny to watch. All right, there you go, we're nice and tight. And now let's secure the driver's side. And as you guys can see, it's very easy when you don't have an air dryer in the way. Whew. May just need to wiggle the bumper a little, which that happens, there you go. So sometimes you may have to wiggle the bumper a little just to get these ones up here. But once you do, then you're ready to rock and roll. There we go. And then I'm gonna switch to my other socket. Now the bumper is reinstalled, nice and tight, and we're ready to get back on the road. All right guys, so real quick recap about replacing the bumper. You know, the one that may be broken, hit deer, another truck, snowbank, you know, that kind of stuff. As you guys can notice, it was very easy and it's something you guys can definitely do. And again, ratchet, I definitely love it. It makes it move a lot quicker. You guys are gonna also need to get a regular manual ratchet, right? Because if you have that pesky air dryer blocking the way, then you're gonna need this to access those bolts. And also, take a look at them, because if it is a used truck, as you can see on this particular truck, we had two different size. And the ones that I used today was a 14 millimeter and a 16 millimeter. Now, it should be a 16 millimeter as long as nobody's touched the bumper, all right? And that's it. That's all you need for tools. All right, guys, if you like what you saw today, don't forget to pound that like button. If you guys have any questions or concern of what you saw, don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom. And guys, don't forget to support the channel. I wanna save you money. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys around.